Hey guys, Money Man 300 back for some more Project Cars videos here and this time what I wanted to do is go over and just show you guys all the different camera views in the game. There are, uh, there's more views here than there is in Forza so it's kind of cool and I'm going to go through each one and just kind of give you a couple of my thoughts on them. I've kind of tried and played around with each one of them, made sure I ran some laps in them just to see if I kind of like them and and, uh, and we'll go from there. So let's get it started here. Obviously first off here we got the, uh, the chase view and uh, trying to drive and we got the chase view, you know, you guys normal this one. I actually backed this one out. So if you look back at my settings video, I'll show you a place in there where you can, uh, you know, kind of change your point of view. So you can back it out or get it closer. And I backed it out just a little bit. I went to 85, it starts at 80. I tried it at 100 and, it, and it, you're like way back behind the car. So if you like that kind of thing, uh, you can do that. Um, so there's that view. Next one, got the uh, bumper cam. You know, we've seen, we've seen uh, bumper cam views before. This is pretty good too if you like, uh, I know there's, you know there's people who like to drive in this one. Um, I don't mind it, you know, I can manage and I can manage in all the all of them, you know, just give me a couple laps to kind of get used to it. It's pretty close to the ground, but you know, there's nothing obstructing your view um, anytime you do a bumper cam like this. So um, next one is a, what I'll call, uh, is, is sort of, ooh, slow down, you're gonna run that off the track. Um, sort of a hood type of cam. I don't really know quite what to call it. Scoop cam, you know, right on, it's, I mean, it's like right on the hood. And it kind of moves around depending on where you're at. Like I'm going downhill now. Let's blow that turn. This is on Brand's hatch, by the way. Um, so there's that one. And then we have our standard in-car view. In-car view looks really good in this game. I really like it. I think it's been it's done really well. I can actually drive in car uh, much better in this game than I could in uh, in Forza 5. So I actually started that way. It's the only way I could drive until I got my controls kind of worked out. So we got our regular standard, and, and they look really good. The models are good and stuff. You look side to side. I actually changed my control to look straight behind me instead of, by default, pulling back on the stick like in Forza to look behind you looks down. And I changed that to Y. I don't know why I need to look down left up the brakes there um, but I made this look behind me instead so there is that view uh, next one got kind of a interesting uh, I don't know what to call it, maybe call this passenger view it's like I'm right in the passenger seat here or off to the right um, and I, actually if the steering wheel is on the right I'm not quite sure what this one does I don't really remember what kind of lap time we set just going like four different uh, I think uh, it's pretty bad. It's like two or three seconds slower than maybe even more than that. Be down in the 53s usually. Oh, about 55. All right, so there. This is the. Uh, oh, I missed there. Hang on. Oh, we have to get back on the track. And now uh, let's see our next one here. So this one's kind of cool. This one is what they call uh, helmet view. So the sound's a little more muffled, um, as you can hear and you can kind of see the top and bottom of the helmet and some of the stuff's just a little bit more blurred. This is just like you're looking through the helmet itself. And you can kind of look around the same way. I can look up. Whoa, forgot to turn there. Slow her down a little. So this is our helmet view. It's not bad, it's kind of fun, really adds it, you know, if you really want to get an element of realism, you get the, you know, using the wheel, and then this one, I think it, I think it really brings something to it, you get that motion blur and everything in there, so, uh, this is kind of cool, it's kind of fun to watch, I've, I ran a couple of, uh, of the single player ones this way. It's drivable still, as you can see, managing. And let's see, this one here, so now we have a... I don't know. There's two different hood views. This one's more consistent. It's a little bit further back and almost from a little bit up. I like this hood view better than the other hood view. This one actually works pretty good. I kind of like this view. I've ran this one. Um, again, I think all of them are really well done. 
and they're all very drivable. They, I think it. I think everybody has something in here that they can. <laughs> whoa, whoa, no, no, don't, don't, don't. Uh, Want to get my car all dirty? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I think that, and I think that's it. Yep, and we're back to that one. So that is all of the different views that you get in there. So like I said, it's a good. Mix. There's a lot of different ones. I think everybody will be able to find something that they like. I kind of I find myself flipping around a lot, and I'll run chase for a while. I'll run inside, and I couldn't do that in Forza. Like it took me longer to get used to. Now I'm a lot better at just going right in it. So, um, all right, we're gonna end it with that. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys in the next one later.